Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. We're going to do a special setup video for you if you just got a brand new flagship Android smartwatch phone like this Optimus 2 with the amazing camera module at the top that flips up or any of them especially if they have the dual processors for android and for low power or light use you're going to want to watch this video we are going to cover an over the air update we're going to cover what you should do afterwards in terms of factory restore basically erasing everything on the watch and configuring it back again we're going to show you all that pretty quickly so um yeah have at it if you are interested in this watch or any of the watches you'd like to buy we really appreciate it if you use the links we provide for you just check in the show notes and click on over there and pick one of these puppies up when you get it make sure first of all you unbox it you charge it okay charge it make get as much power as you can overnight if you can then come on back here and follow the guide and you can get yourself set up so it'll really really work well for a long time here we go so nice and loud i press the button to get it started and we are booting up in our brand new first run on this watch uh you saw the startup logo briefly the little flashy things and now it says android as it loads the android system and we get ready to um take it to the next level head over to your app scroll all the way down to settings should be easy to find First thing you do, network and internet. Make sure that you have your Wi-Fi turned on. You can go into it. Your uh, uh, router should show up here. You can put in your password and get yourself connected. I'm connected right now. After that, what you want to do is scroll all the way down here to the very bottom to About Watch. In About Watch, you'll have information related to your build numbers and firmware and everything. You don't really need to bother with that, but um, you can if you'd like to. What you do want to do, though, is hit Wireless Update. Now, if you've been on Wi-Fi and you do that and there is an update waiting you probably received a notification which is what happened to me which is why i'm able to show you this process if you just started and you didn't get a notification then down at the bottom it'll say to check or it'll just start checking automatically if you do have a new version available you'll get a screen that looks like this and down at the bottom it says first download then we'll do an install so you want to download it you could either pause it or you could uh, cancel it and it counts the percentage of the way through when it gets up to a hundred percent like that we get different information down here now if it's off the screen of course you can press and hold change it from circle to square and now it's more readable you can install it now or you can install it later let's install it gives you a little warning you want to make sure your device is uh, charged up and ready to go and let it let it go here we go it's now shutting down and then we'll completely install brand new firmware and we'll see what we got we're about halfway through now installing system update now when it's complete it's going to reboot itself again now this is something you don't normally see it's something new when you have these different processors in here we've got firmware upgrade okay current battery level make sure the power is above 30 percent plug in the charger and you have to do this second step the upgrade process is about 30 seconds but you got to do this and don't don't skip it and don't uh mess with it when it's happening oh here we go we're gonna um press the button it's upgrading like I said, about 30 seconds, so it should go pretty quickly. Now, again, we have two different processors in here. A high-end Android processor tends to be battery-hungry, but gives you all that, what, octa-core processing, quad-core, octa, a lot of them on this one. I get them so confused. 
Uh, anyway, it uh, it eats a lot of power, but it delivers a lot of bang for the buck. And the, the other process as well, that the uh, system can hand off most of the background Android functions to, like your clock uh, timing, uh, the watch faces, the fitness activities, the heart rate stuff, um, alarms, all of that. And when that's all that's needed, that uh, special light mode, uh, when you put it in there, will migrate all that over and you just use that secondary processor. But we've got firmware that is affecting two different ways of this watch operating and the integration, kind of like the left and right hemispheres of your brain, an update requires a little bit extra. So make sure you go through all of these steps to get it done. How's that for eating up 30 seconds? Okay, it has been updated. We hit the check mark and we're in our watch face. Awesome, but we're not done yet. Okay, it's giving me a crazy date, not right now and not right here, um, without doing anything. Now, I know you may have a bunch of other stuff already installed. Let's see if my custom apps are here way down at the bottom. Yeah, it left everything in here. We'll be talking about these, of course. Um, but we're going to we're gonna do this anyway because uh, it's a really smart thing to do. That's why you want to do this at the very beginning when you're setting your watch up. We're, go we're going to wipe it all out. We're going to wipe it all out and start all over with a system restore. You saw that. I went to system. I'm going to reset options and I'm going to erase everything. It's a factory reset, erase all data. Really highly recommend you do that whenever you get a firmware upgrade on especially this high-end flagship watch with dual processors in it because there can be residual stuff left over that isn't cleaned out and you could get erratic performance. You could end up having some kernel of code that's going to drain your battery in the background that you can't get rid of. So just do it and let it erase everything. Then we start from the beginning. Okay, we have rebooted it, we have flashed it, we have done a factory restore, and now we're ready to configure it. Now quickly, you're gonna to wanna to go into your settings, you're gonna to wanna to go into network, you're gonna to wanna to set up your Wi-Fi. You're going to want to go into settings, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to display, you're gonna to wanna to increase the time to something more than 10 seconds. I made it 10 minutes for our purposes here. Suggest you go into sound, go all the way down, turn off the dial pad and the sound on, uh, power on sounds if you want to, uh, so that you're not annoyed by that as you continue to reboot the thing. Uh, then you're gonna to wanna to go over to the Play Store and in the Play Store, get that whole thing all set up with your Google account. Then go into um, the uh, app update area, which you get to from up here. And of course, it shows you your account information. You go into My Apps, and you'll see that you have three that need updating. Make sure you are on the internet, logged into your Google account, and then update those apps. Then we can actually begin to review the watch. So the full review is already up. Just go ahead and look for it here on our channel. Remember, you can always go to smartwatchticks.com, look for the little magnifying glass, enter whatever you're looking for, in this case, Optimus 2. Let it search, it'll find the videos for you. And then you can uh, peruse the entire review. And a reminder that if you don't have the watch yet and you're interested in buying it, please use the link in the show notes that we provide you because that helps us out here. We get a little bit of a commission when you buy and they, of course, get to know that you bought as a result of watching our videos and that incentivizes them to send us more watches for review. So a little win-win-win for everybody. If this was helpful for you in setting up your watch, thumbs up, a like would be recommended and suggested and appreciated. We'll see you again soon, gang. Thanks for watching.